It's my feel good breakfast show. A very warm welcome back on this Monday morning to your feel good breakfast show as we get into the relationship things of life. Check out this scenario. I think it's very, very common, maybe. Uh, you love your partner, but you also like your friends very much. The only problem is that they don't get along. Now, can you make it work, or are you doomed to have to choose? With us to discuss this topic in our, is our relationship expert, Sharissa Bloomberg. And uh, we've also, we're going to be opening our lines to answer your questions and take your comments on this. We'd really like your advice if you ever encountered any problems like this, how you've made it work. So give us a call on 83 Sharissa, are you ready for this one today? Yes. It's a happy. very, very touchy topic yes, indeed. <gasps> All right. Well, so before we start, let's quickly go on to the street and find out what you had to say. When we ask you the question, how important is it for you that your partner and your friends get along? It's not so important for your girlfriend to get along with your friends because there might be a backstabber, someone would like to try to have a relationship behind your back with your, with your girlfriend. She can't change also my friendship if they are good to me, so she has to accept that if she loves me or... Well, to me it's uh, important to get along with my, uh, my partner's friends, uh, especially when you're hanging out with them, uh, if you're going out having dinner or just hanging out in general, that you feel like you're a part of the group both yourself that you feel like you're fitting in but also the other way around that, the, that your partner's friends think that you're someone cool to hang out with because you're not only hanging out with her friends also with my friends and I want my friends to think the same about her. Well, I learned that uh, like your boyfriend's friends, they're not your friends actually. You can get along with them but give them distance. They mustn't be too much close to me and not everybody you can trust. You might not know they need your boyfriend or they need me. So just for secure reasons, you have to stay away from your boyfriend's friends and my friends as well. If my friends doesn't like him, that's fine. That's fine. He is mine. It can't cause problems if I'm loving him. If I don't love him, then that's a problem. Because I tell them my stories, then they take advantage. They push him away from me. I think in a way it is important because um, friends can be an influence in a way in terms of the relationship because sometimes when she's with her friends you know that she's comfortable this is like you know this is a comfort comfort zone so to say and uh, there's a dis disadvantage as I said to it like if something wrong goes on with the, within the relationship they might be the influence that you guys break apart. If he had a friend that I didn't get along with, I would not really mind the friend. Like what the friend... It's not about the friend anyway at the end of the day. And he's not involved in our relationship exactly. at the end of the day. So yeah. he plays no role in our relationship. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Some of those answers out there making me feel like people buy jail, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, Sharissa, wow. Wow. So we've got, yes. I think, both sides of the fence. Some people saying, it doesn't matter whether your friends and your partner get along. Some of them saying it's very important because you are in the same kind of social environment. So um, should they? Let's ask that question first up. In an ideal world, yes, it's amazing if you can all hang out and feel good together. But it doesn't really happen. OK, people have different values. There's personality clashes. Uh, there's jealousy. There's... Yeah. We need to know the context why they don't. Yeah. But yes, I mean, that's really important. But ideally, it would be great. Yeah. Otherwise, it causes a lot of issues yeah. between you. If we take a look at the negative side where your friends and your partner don't get along, what kind of impact could that have yes. on your relationship? There's negative emotions. There's jealousy. You want to spend time with the friends, but your partner wants to spend time with you. You're spending too much time with one, with the other. It becomes toxic is a yeah. nice word. It becomes yeah, unhealthy. Yeah. You said just now it's about understanding the context of why they might not get along. How do you even begin to have that conversation with your girlfriend or with your friends? Because I'm assuming you need to have the conversation with yes. both of them, right? Yes, absolutely. And find out why they don't like each yes. other. Is it because, you know, the partner is drug-induced, it's alcohol, and they hang out with their buddies, you know, and then yeah. they just have a wild time? Is it because it's just jealousy? What is the reasons? And we need to find that out. Yeah. And we need to ask them, communicate. Constructive communication yeah. is the words. Playing devil's advocate and throwing yes. the span in the works there, I must ask, is there one that's more important than the other? Yo, that's a difficult question. <laughs> well, um, it's there. <laughs> no, I would say absolutely not. Because, you know, your friends, as I said, could backstab you, could drop you, could do something. Your partner could turn around and break up. And then if your partner's broken up, you want to go to your friends. So they're both important to nurture for a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yeah. try to have the balance for both. Yeah. I wouldn't say one's more important than the other. 
Definitely so, not. so are you are you more of the opinion that one should be a mediator between the two yes. parties, try and bring them to a point of resolution instead of you choosing? Yes, absolutely. And your friends have been there supposedly longer before the, your new partner That's has. You, you, know? you know, you might have known this friend for many, many years, and now exactly. it's just not clicking with your relationship. Exactly. You've built up this relationship. Here comes this new hot person <laughs> who you're madly in love with, and then it doesn't work. But you got rid of your friends. Balance, balance, balance. Talking, communicating, yeah. quality time. Mediate. We really want to get your calls at home for your questions and your, opinion, your opinions on this topic. So give us a call on 083-9133-728. I want to just sketch a scenario. Say, say uh, you and I are dating, Sharissa, and oh, you, need to, you need to now tell me about, uh, about the fact that, <laughs> that your friends don't like me. And how do you begin that conversation without, you know, kind of riling me up and getting me all anxious about the next time I see your friends? Just that vision of you saying that, you've lost me. Imagine you're dating. Who wouldn't like you? All right, let's use another analogy. Oh, let, let, I'm like, you're my hero. Pretend I'm Morgan so Freeman like, and you're dating uh, Morgan Freeman. Okay. So what was the question again? I've got all <laughs> No, seriously. Um, we start, we don't nag. And we don't say, you know, you've got to like my friends. You've got to do this. Yeah. You don't give them an ultimatum. You try to have quality time together where it's fun, where it's... I'm not going to say bright because I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> Where you all do fun things together yeah. and you start liking and you start enjoying So create it. those scenarios. Create this, the fun scenarios, the quality time together without pushing. And if that goes on for a while and if it still doesn't work, then you have to see the friend separately to the partner. And that yeah. would be such a pity. Yeah, yeah. But maybe just engaging in that level of conversation and saying, so babe, you know, why yes. is it that you don't yes. like Usman Bani and vice versa? We'll continue exactly. with our conversation shortly. That number is still open, 083-9133-728. Call us, talk to us about how important it is that your partner and your friends like each other. Right now, let's head on over to the kitchen. A lovely salad awaits.